Almost the same. They're just what? Swift. What do you need to switch around? But you need to you need to negate them, right? Yeah, which I'm going to talk about that in just a second. So over in here, guys, just real quick, if you have the x and the y's, just remember, basically, if as far as on this point, one, two, one, two, three. If we want to find our distance and our angle theta, think of it like a triangle. So you'd have 2 squared plus 3 squared equals r squared. So therefore, that's going to be 4 plus 9. So that's going to be 13 equals r squared. r equals the square root of 13. To find angle theta, you would say tangent of theta is equal to opposite over, opposite over adjacent. But to solve for theta, right, you need to find theta. So theta is equal to tangent inverse of 3 over 2, which is the same thing as 1.5. So if you're doing this, um, make sure that you're in degree. And we'll do tangent inverse of 1.5. And we get theta equals 56.31 if you're around to the nearest thousandth. So my coordinate point in polar form would be square root of 13 comma 56.31. I mean, I'll tell you, but it, usually when we're finding our angle, unless it says in radians, we're going to use degrees. Okay. Now, if you guys.